Hello, I'm Walter. We're discussing a lovely little picture by G D apostrophe Esposito Esposito, depending how you want to say it. There is a big problem with this, this, this name, Esposito, and it is so bad, the problem, that you have Christie's currently selling Gaetano Espositos in the same sale as G Despositos, and they are both given the same attribution. They're given the same painter's name, Gaetano Esposito, They're given the same dates, 1858 to 1911, but the signatures are different in the same sale on different pictures. And the style of painting is different as well. So, for example, Gaetano Esposito did not use a D with an apostrophe ever, and he signed without it. And his paintings are the ones that sell for more money than this version. And he doesn't paint these, he paints Neapolitan boys and whimsical characters, rather like Bianchini did. He paints bays and boats and cliffs in oil, only oil. So you have the Gaetano Disposito in, in London being sold with the name, with the date of birth, 1858 to 1911. And then unfortunately, you've got the same sales, these being sold as the same artist with the same dates of birth and, de and death. It's not the same person. Um, so there is a problem with Esposito, which, it, it, which provides an opportunity. It's not a problem for me, it's not a problem for you, but it, it, it's, a, it's a problem in the marketplace. So this one, this Esposito, signs his name with a D, apostrophe, and he signed some of his name, some of his signatures, without the G. So I don't know whether he was a Gaetano, or a Giovanni, or a, G, or a Gianni, I don't know. But his signatures are all the same on all his pictures like this, and all dated in the same way, in the same time frame. They're the same size. Some of this has the, the G, some don't. So you have the, the, G, the Gaetano with the oils, without the D. You have the G with the D, who does these boats. Now these boats are all over the place. They're in America, they're in England, they're in, the, in Portsmouth Naval Museum, they're lots in Malta, there's lots, lots everywhere. And they are a really stable, reliable bench, again, I use the phrase benchmark picture. They are of a very good quality, they're around 1900. They're all signed in white. Some don't, as I say, don't have the G, but many, many do. Some of the boats go that way, some of the boats go that way. And he does all the boats. He does English boats, he does Italian boats, he does Maltese British boats, he does uh, all sorts of things. He does multi-boat, multi-vessel scenes as well. So this one is, has an Italian flag. I've checked the flag is a real flag. It is the easiest thing in the world to change the flag on these paintings. And 50 years ago, they were routinely changed to suit the market and routinely put on. So that is an Italian flag. There are many Italian flags, and I'm not sure which one it is. I think it is the one with the feet, the four feet going around in circles. I think it's Sicilian or certainly Italian. You have the word Amodeo, not Amodeo, it's Amodeo, so that's Italianized. So that's good as well, it fits the, the flag. The Amadeo is in reverse, which means that the blue is sewn onto the Spurgey on the other side. So that's quite an interesting thing. I've not seen that. I can't record having seen it. I must have seen it once, but I can't recall it. And then you have the, the subjects. Now, this, this is not Malta. I know it's not Malta because I know the eye quite well. And I've, I've been told by some, some other people this is not Malta. So that is a limiting factor for the price of Malta. This is in Malta, but it's an Italian scene. And that limits the price in Malta. So it's a marooned, what I call a marooned item. This artist, Esposito, is Italian in essence. And I think he, rather like the Giannis, he moved between Italy and Malta. I don't know where, where he lived at the end or the beginning. I don't know which way he went or whether he went backwards and forwards. But he's a, considered a Maltese Italian painter, like the Giannis, as I say, like the family Giannis. So, to confuse it further, you have fabricated fake Espositos, and I see quite frequently pictures in sale rooms in England, which are not very nice pictures, but with this name on, I mean, they're fake. There's mountains of them. And because this is a folk art, semi-folk art type of naive thing, very simplistic, quite easy to fake. Now, of course, there's the Vince Vincent 
Esposito, Vincenzo Desposito Desposito, and he did a lot more of these things. He did do some ships, but he was mainly doing small, touristic, trinkety, postcard size picture, size pictures of Valletta, and using lots of pinks and a very hurry, in a very hurried manner of painting. But he did do some boats. So be careful with Esposito. It's uh, almost a generic term now. In the Sarans in England, oh, it's an Esposito, it's an Esposito. It's a multi-artist generic term, in, a, in, in essence, and that's not obviously correct, but that's what, it's, that's what it was. It was almost a throwaway description. So I bought this beautiful picture. It's a small picture, but because the, the, the ship is small within the frame, with quite a much wider margin you would imagine, it looks like a big picture. It doesn't look like it's trying to be bigger than it is. The frame is probably 1950s, 1960s. It's a multi-style frame, mahogany, very, very simple. This is paper. The paper's in good condition. It is visibly paper, it has a slight wave to it, but not an unpleasant wave. It has a slight crease or deterioration here, but it's not damaged. It's, it's perhaps more an anomaly than damage. You can't see it unless you're really looking for, looking for problems. I would give that a 9.9 .9 out of 10 for the condition. The gouache doesn't uh, fade, very well, fade, fade very much anyway, like a normal watercolour. It's a thickened watercolour, and the gouache holds the colours very well. That's, that's evidence in a, in a signature, which is a white gouache. That's a nice thing. All, all of these are in white gouache. So it's an Italian boat. It's in full sail. The shading on the sails is done very carefully. The rigging is painted very carefully. There are, sails, there are boats on the horizon with the sails out. If that was a Maltese, it was a Maltese vessel, a British Maltese vessel with Malta in the background, it would be worth more money because it's Italian. The, mar the, the market is uh, perhaps going to be stronger for an Italian buyer or Sicilian buyer. Um, and likewise in England, you get ones with English boats and they're collected in England very, very, very assiduously. I think that their value is low. I think it's a bench benchmark style of picture as well as a benchmark value of a picture. If you go to the North America, the East Coast, you'll find these ship, the, these pictures painted rather like this in oil, often with the, with the whaling scenes, but all side-on boats. You'll find in America, other maritime marine pictures, you'll see pleasure boats, warships, barges, all sorts of things. In England, it's the same. In England, there's also, uh, apart from these semi-literal simple pictures that you have got more elaborate marine pictures and you've also got the less elaborate ones you have the, na the naive ones the folk ones often painting local fleet so it's not a new thing to see a boat painted like this but with the sails with the date with the name with the flag with an appropriate landscape that's a fantastic thing to have and they are sold quite often by this artist who are prolific and they they, they follow a price band which is a reassuring thing to have. So it's a sound, Malta. Thanks very much for having a look.